Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the end of July, from now until the end of, end of July. But keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? So let's see what comes up. We got one that came out. What do we have for Aquarius? Oh, you know, I wanted to tell you that it's interesting because I was getting ready to do this and I was thinking about spinach. So I don't know if you uh, need to have more spinach. Maybe you need some more greens or something like that. But I was like, I got to tell Aquarius about spinach. And then I was like, no, I'm not going to. Well, here I am. Apparently you need to know about spinach. So <clears throat> perhaps you need some spinach or some greens or whatever that nutrient is that is in spinach. You know, spinach is a power food. So... Something about spinach, okay? Kite, vacation. Door, opportunities are waiting for you. So there's a door that is waiting for you to go through it. Whale, great worry over nothing. So you are worrying about something for nothing. Perhaps you need a vacation. Maybe you're going to be taking one in the next couple of weeks. There's an opportunity that is waiting for you. You might have to open that door and go through it, go through it on your own. Okay. What do we have for Aquarius? There's an opportunity that's waiting for you. Maybe it's an opportunity for a vacation. Who knows? Um, but you're worrying about we got three cards that fell out. We gotta take them. You're worrying about something for nothing. You're not being practical about a situation. You need to replace your fear with faith. And Sagittarius is prominent. Now Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which is the planet of luck. So you may have some luck on your side. I'm not sure. You could. Um, you do need to replace your fear with faith. You're not being practical about a situation. You're worrying about something needlessly. You don't need to worry about it. There is an opportunity that is waiting for you. Okay, there is. It appears to be a pretty big one. Okay, there's an opportunity that is right in the palm of your hand. This is a new investment. It is something that you can hold on to. It's something solid. It's something real. It's huge. Okay, you have a huge opportunity it's waiting for you to take it. I, I don't think you've taken it yet. This is something that can bring you money, that can bring you long-term stability. Okay, I don't think you've taken it yet. I don't. Um, you need to have faith in yourself. You may have some sort of gift because when I, when I see the Ace of Pentacles, it's about manifestation. It's also a gift. So I feel like you may have some sort of gift that can make you some money, um, some sort of skill perhaps. But you have to go through that doorway. You can't let your fear stand in the way, okay? So what do we have for Aquarius? Maybe you're worried that you're not good enough or something like that. There's great worry over nothing. You're not being practical. You have an opportunity that is in the palm of your hand. <laughs> luck is on your side. I feel like luck is on your side. You may not know it. Seven of Wands reversed. Queen of Cups reversed. Hangman. Thinking a lot. Oh, we got that golden opportunity again. So this is uh, something that, you know, it's prosperity. It's abundance. It is something real. This is, this is a new doorway. Seriously, you have an opportunity right now, okay? This, and it's because this is like right now. This is right now you have an opportunity for long-term stability this is this is getting something that is going to pay off for you tower nine of pentacles upright which is abundance 
It is self-sufficiency. It is self. Some of you may be starting your own business. If you have been scared to do so, I would suggest you replace your fear with faith because you are very capable of success. This is independent success. You may be seeing an increase. If you add that one, that ace of pentacles to this, that is prosperity. That is abundance and increase. You may be seeing an increase in, of money this month. You should be enjoying the fruits of your labor. I feel like you should be. You're, you're, you're probably in a very good space. If not, you're going to be. You're very capable of success. Six of Wands, upright. That is success. That is victory, making progress. Seven of Swords underneath that tower. Now, the Seven of Swords can be putting plans in action. It can be logic. It can be reason. Um... <coughs> Eight of Wands reversed. Nine of Cups reversed. I'm just going to get, I just feel like I need another one. Um, Ace of Swords upright. New, new idea, new approach, commitment. Um, you need to commit yourself. You need to commit yourself to something. You need to open up. You need to express you need, because of that Ace of Swords, you need to express your idea, share your idea. It feels like you have some sort of idea. Maybe it's for a new business venture, whatever it is. Broaden your horizons in some way. It could be very, very successful. You have the skills. You are a very skilled individual. Um, you're very enlightened. I feel like you're very awakened. You've thought about this a lot. What are you waiting for? Why are you so scared? Just do it. You're blocking your own success by overthinking yourself, overthinking your plans. You have a lot of support around you. You may not know it, but you do. There's public recognition here as well. I think that you have some sort of skill or gift that can really make your money, but do not be afraid to share it open up completely anyhow that's i don't know whose message that is but anyway i feel like in the middle card is the tower so the middle card is a disruption it is um, a false sense of security um a necessary evil something something falling apart for a reason you know you may be in a foundation you may be in some sort of foundation or some sort of situation that is built on false pretenses you know there's falseness there's lies there's deception because of the seven swords is right underneath it there's some sort of lies and deception here i think that something is going to happen that is going maybe it's with a water sign a scorpio pisces or a cancer um, because that's what I have here the most for people, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, I feel like you um, have been not listening to your gut or you have allowed somebody to uh, betray you or they have betrayed you. Maybe you've been ignoring it. There's going to be a major disruption, okay? There is. There's going to be a major disruption. Uh, just saying. This is my second Aquarius reading. I did one about two hours ago, and I decided to do it over. Um, and there is going to be a disruption. There's going to be... You've been ignoring something, because we have the judgment reverse and the high priestess reverse. Maybe you don't know that you're gifted. Maybe you're not, you haven't been listening to your intuition. Maybe you know that some of you, I know there's at least one Aquarius that knows that they're gifted and he shares his gift with the world, but he may not listen for himself. So anyhow, um, I do, but I do know that, uh, well, the tower card to me, it's ruled by Uranus. And Uranus, to me, is uh, connected to Aquarius. So I do believe that you are right here. I feel like you are right here in the in, you are right in the uh, middle of something. I feel like you are dealing with some sort of internal disruption. I feel like you are also dealing with some um, 
lies or deception in your life that you are trying to ignore, that you are trying to push down, that you are trying to block. I saw a lot of blocking in the previous reading that I just did. I'm going to I'm going to pretend that everything is okay. Everything is not okay. Could have to do with your health. The tower can be an internal disruption that has to do with health. It can also do with your foundation. Um, and it does, this does have to do with the foundation and the tower is about a foundation, whether it's your home, your business or your health. I think that you are in a situation that is very, um, unstable and stabilization is needed. I feel like you are dealing, uh, with, uh, needing to admit something. I feel like you need to admit, um, some sort of defeat and I think that's really hard for you. I feel like you have a lot of responsibilities. I feel like you've, for some of you, you may be living a much better life. You've, you had the Ten of Wands. You've come a long way. You've uh, overcame some struggles, you know. The, when you get the Ten of Wands, it means that you have overcome challenges. You've, you've, you've uh, had your success, you know, or you've become success through, th successful through hard work, but you have a lot of responsibilities and you're carrying some sort of burden and perhaps you need to delegate some responsibilities or you need to let go of something so that you can relax a little bit. I feel like you are overwhelmed and I feel like you got a lot on your plate. You've taken it on to, because of the success that you have. I do see that you're successful. I feel like you have, uh, you have um, become successful through hard work and now the the responsibilities that come with keeping up that status can be a little overwhelming for you and I feel like there's a crash here you know there's there's there there could be a crash with the tower card there could things could fall apart if you don't delegate you know if you don't take time to Focus on your foundation. Focus on you. Focus on... I, for some of you, I feel like it's your health. I feel like it's your health. Or it's something that you are ignoring. Because we did have the Ten of Pentacles reversed up in the corner here. It may have to do with your relationship. You know, maybe, maybe you have a relationship that is suffering because of your work. We also had... Um, well, we do have deception here as well, too. I wonder... I don't know if somebody is cheating... And, and I saw that in the other one as well because of the Seven of Swords. You know, sometimes you get yourself so wrapped up in your work or so wrapped up in everything else that you miss things. With the High Priestess reverse and the Judgment reverse and the other one, this lack of awareness, you may be unaware because you have so many responsibilities of what is actually going on around you. So, and then we had the Two of Swords, which was the blindfold, you know, not seeing something, missing something. So I think that you are missing something. Um, you could be dealing with somebody, we have the, the, the Queen of Cups in reverse that is emotionally unavailable. This person is wishy-washy. They have some secrets. Um, you could be, and you may not be seeing it. You may not be seeing it. This may be a false sense of security. You may be filling a void with somebody that, um, is hiding something from you. So I do feel like you need to be aware. I feel like you also have somebody here that is jealous of you, um, or they're jealous of your partner. There's an ex here, whether it's your ex or their ex, or I know there is, I saw it in the other one as well. So I don't know if you're getting together with somebody and, uh, or you have gotten together with somebody and there's a third party here that is jealous, that is causing problems. You have a troublemaker per se. I had the page of wands reversed. I feel like you're going to be caught off guard by an individual that is immature. It could be a child or somebody that acts like a child. Um, so be prepared. Be prepared to defend yourself. We have the seven of wands, whether it's upright or, or reverse or whatever. I think you're going to need to defend yourself. I feel like you are in a very good position. Uh, you may have secured something and you got somebody here that doesn't like it and they they attack you, you know, that you're under attack for some reason because of jealousy, because of the seven of, or the eight of wands reverse. 
that is somebody trying to block you from success or getting whatever it is that you've been given. I feel like you have some, we had first card out and the other one was the page of pentacles. Somebody is giving you something. They're giving you something or you're going down a new path. You, 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 you're setting new goals. You're starting a new project. You're starting it on a new endeavor. You know, you're broadening your horizons and you got a hater here. or You got somebody here that is trying to hold you back. Whether this has to do with a relationship or a job or a new business venture that you're engaging in, you got somebody here that doesn't like you and they're going to um, cause an uproar of some sort. There is an uproar here, so be prepared for that. Um, this person is jealous. They are jealous of you. I feel like it's a water sign or somebody that has a lot of water in their chart. So it doesn't have to be an actual water, water sign, but it's somebody that has water in their chart in a uh, pro prominent placement. Um, this is somebody that can't master their emotions. They're vindictive, revengeful, shallow, um, throws a massive fit in some way, you know, it just uh, explodes. So I do believe that somebody is going to explode. This person um, has probably been spying, they've been watching, they've been planning something, you know, and they're going, and, and I feel like this person is going to put their plans in action because they want to take you down. They want to take you down. You could even have a thief here. You know, somebody that's scamming. They're trying to take credit for your work. So be careful for that. Um, I do think that you're going to prevail, though. I do think that you're going to prevail because the last card out is the Ace of Swords. That's the truth. That's, that's the truth. The truth wins. Um, I feel like there is some sort of... Uh, celebration here i feel like you're getting some public recognition you there could be an increase of public recognition or an increase of support coming your way um i think that there's a lot of eyes on you people are watching you they see your commitment to whatever it is that you're doing um but you do have somebody here that is scheming against you and i'm sorry to say that but it's the truth um it's almost like somebody is trying to, to take something from you. Um, but I feel, or they're trying to punish you in some way. The hangman can be punishment. Um, struggling, struggling, struggling. There's a struggle here. There's some sort of struggle to uh, open up. So maybe that's you struggling. You, you may need to uh, look at things from a new perspective. You need to focus on yourself. You need to relax a little bit. You may need to take a time out from all the demands that you are carrying. Maybe you need a vacation. I think you probably do. I feel like you should go on a vacation with your partner, whoever your partner is that maybe you've been neglecting because of all your responsibilities. But anyhow, and no kids or any of that, okay? Anyhow, um, I don't see any children here. It's not that you don't have children, but I see that, you know, there's, there's a need to, I feel like, rejuvenate, you know, and don't forget to eat your spinach. But anyhow, um, I see you being in a place of victory, you know, uh, winning. You are winning. You're winning. You're winning some sort of battle, okay, against the competition, all right? You're, you're, you should see an increase. You should see an increase of support. You should see an increase probably maybe even of money. I see that uh, somebody may try to block you, but I don't think they're going to get away with it. Um I feel like deep fulfillment is right around the corner as well. I, th I, see a, I see you being in a position of power. You're very authentic. You're very truthful. You're very honest. But I also feel like you're hanging on to something that isn't practical. And I, I hate to go back to that, but I have to. There's something that you are hanging on to that isn't practical. I don't know if it's a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that is lying to you or has been lying to you, and I know I'm changing the story, but I definitely see a liar here that is not telling you the truth. You know, I wonder if there's going to be an uproar on the home front where something gets revealed. I saw that in the other one, where something gets seen, you know, I don't know if there's been some cheating and it's been hidden and it gets revealed. If it's not cheating, it's something that, that somebody has been hiding something from you and you knew it. I think that you did know it, but you've been ignoring it. 
and I feel like you're about to get the enlightenment. And I feel like you've been struggling. You've really been struggling with the truth. You've been struggling with acceptance. You've been struggling with um, listening to your gut. But I do believe that you are about to gain a new perspective about somebody. I feel like it's somebody that you're living with. I feel like there is somebody that you're living with that is... Um, lying to you about something maybe it's somebody that you work with it could be somebody that you work with I feel I feel like uh, You got somebody here that is is deceiving you. And I feel like you're blocking it, but I think that you know it. I feel like there's some sort of truth that is going to come out by the end of the month. It's not what you wished for, but this is what you need. It's what you need so that you can build a stronger foundation. I do feel like emotions are going to be all over the place. I feel like you've been struggling with some sort of truth. And you're going to be forced, it's this is the universe, or the tower, I always call it tower, the universe is force. You're going to be forced, you're going to be forced to, and some of you may be forced to be independent, forced to go your own way, because right next to that tower card is the nine of pentacles, which is forced independence, forced, you know, to do your own thing, to take care of yourself. I do believe you're going to be attending a get-together soon. Maybe that's where you see something. There's also some, some, there could be, there could be some sort of foul play here or theft or, you know, somebody, this is a con man that is trying to con you, so you need to be very aware. And in my last one, I saw a lack of awareness. <clears throat> There, I feel like there's a there's a person here that is struggling to either let go, let you go or let your partner go as well. There's somebody here that is struggling to let go. This person may act um, you may get a surprise from this person that is struggling to let go. They may have some tricks up their sleeve and they cause a problem for you and your partner. I feel like you have every, what's the word for it, opportunity to build more success and you have a lot of support around you, but you're going to need to replace your fear with faith. You need to let go with that hangman of something that isn't practical, could be a person, could be a job. Could be a bad habit, could be, you know, an addiction, could be drinking, could be food, whatever. There's something you need to let go of to aid in your success. And you have been ignoring it. I know that you have. For some of you, it has to do with drinking. Not everybody. Or overdoing it, going overboard with something. Because there's excess with the Nine of Cups reverse. You need to stop. And the Eight of Wands reverse would say stop. You need to stop doing something. Maybe you need to stop deceiving yourself. You have a lot of support around you. You've already won. You've already won this battle. Have confidence. Hold your head up high. Be proud of who you've become. Anyhow, I do believe that you are worrying about something.
Maybe you're worried about money or you're worried that you're not going to succeed or you don't believe in yourself. It's time for you to take a new approach and set new goals and honor your intuition. Listen to your gut. Take a vacation. Eat your spinach and protect yourself from people or energies that are only out to hurt you. You may have received some advice from somebody, and I said this in the other one too, you have an enemy disguised as a friend. You may have received some advice from somebody that is jealous of you that doesn't want you to succeed. You do, definitely dealing with somebody that doesn't have good intentions, and this is somebody giving giving deep thought to a relationship, extremely stressed out. Um, this person does not have good intentions. I feel like you know it. There's somebody around you that is not aiding in your success. The world card reverse. They're holding you back from success. And I feel like it's because they put you down. They even may use emotional blackmail on you, like tears. You know, tears or, you know, they may have uh, tried to control you. Anyway, be prepared for some sort of event because the tower is the middle card. There's going to be an event. There's going to be a shakeup that forces you to see something that you have been avoiding. This is a change that is needed, okay? There's a necessary evil here. You're going to be forced to accept the truth. Last card out is the Ace of Swords. You're going to be forced to take a new approach. This is not what you asked for, but it has to happen. Good luck.